I got the notion that uh, they mouth is open and uh, all that she's talking when uh, they ain't comparing me, they ain't comparing me, they ain't comparing me. Take a closer look and you see they ain't comparing me. Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim. This is the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report. ESPN finished off their NBA ranking deal they had going on for the last while. Uh, my friends had showed me this in our one sports class and I had kind of been following up with it just to kind of see where they were ranking people. And I have to say, I like some of the rankings, I dislike others, and I thought in the end it was a better list than when the players in the NFL ranked there top 30 players for two or top 100 players for 2011 but there were still some flaws now I'm gonna give you my top 10 one thing there's a few there's a honorable mention here two honorable mentions actually Melo look offensively I think you could put him what he does on the offensive side of the court right with what Kobe Bryant does the problem is Kobe Bryant plays defense, maybe not as great as he's given credit for, but pretty solid defense, and Carmelo Anthony doesn't. If he could develop to be a better defender, I think Carmelo Anthony could be in the top six or seven in this list. So that's why he's not on there. And Pau Gasol is very good, but he's coming off a down season. I think if we remake this list next year, he may be higher, but he's not. Let's start at number 10 with a guy that I think got... Uh, Shafted in the ESPN list. I think he was like number 13 or yeah, he's number 13. Amari Stoudemire. Last year he scored 25.3 points per game, 8.2 rebounds. He carried them, uh, and then they got Carmelo Anthony, obviously. But I think that uh, Amari is the 1A and uh, Melo is the 1B on this team because Amari. He doesn't play great defense, but he plays good defense. The rebounds are incredible. The points. He's one of the best power forwards in the game. That's the bottom line. 